Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Alright, we're coming in with this week's Love and Marriage Huntsville 47 Problems, but this land ain't one. Yes, it is. Yes, and why did they tell a lie like that? Uh huh, yes, it is. We're doing this review on a Sunday, so I'm not even gonna lie like that. But listen, let me give a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of you all that came back on last week. We have been missing in action for a minute. But 6,616 of y'all came back in for the yeah. Love and Marriage Huntsville. Yeah. And I think that should be celebrated. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the love and the support. Absolutely. Yeah. And listen, if you were new to the channel, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. We're going to be here. Yeah. Go ahead and put your post notifications on. Because that'll let you know when I ring your doorbell. That'll let you know that... I got something for you. Hey. And I only come with good skin. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> but let's go ahead and listen. I can't I can't leave out the ride of dies. Come on now. Like I said, if you've already been subscribed, thank you. Uh -huh. Appreciate we love you, y'all. Yes, we really indeed. do. We really do. One reason why we're doing this. It ain't about the show. It's about our interaction with y'all after the show. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. That's right. So Say it's the connection. It's the connection, baby. Hey. Like all uh, Rachel says, it's the story. <laughs> it's the story. But let's go ahead and get into what had happened on this episode, right? So we're going to start off with Kimmy, my favorite person in the world. She's from the DMV, so y'all already know she's a dope person. So Kimmy is like me. Whenever you, your feelings are set towards something, you have to bounce that off of somebody just to make sure that you are really in line and that you're not leaning too far this way or you're not leaning too far that way. So she goes to the most honest person she knows is going to give her the feedback that she needs, whether it's going to be in her favor or not, and that's her husband. And she went and she was like, listen, had this talk with Tisha at her kickback and she said that I wasn't supportive of her, but I had to remind her that there's been situations where my back has been against the wall and I'm fighting all by myself and none of y'all said skit. So mm -hmm. if you really want to, if we really want to balance this friendship <clears throat> thing out, right. let's go ahead and, and, and let's put the weight on it now because this thing ain't balancing out. And Marguerite's pretty much told her in so many words because men don't get into that they just kind of when you start listening when they start listening to you just just notice how they go <laughs> they listening but they don't want no parts of that bullshit so pretty much he said you know your feelings are in the right place it is what it is y'all have work through it or not work through it but i love what he had told with kimmy if tisha's expecting you to change yeah and to be somebody that you're not that she needs to start <laughs> all over, over with you because you're not going to change. You're not going to change. What, yeah. I can't say too much because I don't want, I, I do want to, but I don't want the backlash about what I'm about, what I really want to say. But what is it that when friendships get to a certain point and then all of a sudden you're not what I need or you're not who you thought I was. And I'm like, ain't nobody changed but you. Right. So at the end of the day, did you like me then or do you like what you think you can change about me? Because ain't nothing about me going to change. So I hate that. And that's what Kimmy was saying. Either you like who I am or you never not liked who, who I, I am, am. because I, I'm not going to change for you. That's just crazy to me. I, and, but we're going to leave that alone. But like we always said, it is so unfair and it's very selfish for you to water yourself down to make somebody else feel good in y'all friendship. Absolutely. That is not fair. No. That is not friendship. It's not, it's That's control. control. <laughs> yeah. It's control. Yeah, so when my emotions change, I need your emotions to change. And that's not how it's gonna and work. that's not how it works. I'm always gonna be who I am. Right. And you don't like it now because you changed. Mm -hmm. I didn't change. I, yep. I remained who I am. Yep. And now you just having a hard time dealing with it because your space is different now. So now you have to make a decision whether or not you want to continue on because I'm solid. Ain't changed. <laughs> yeah, because the last time I checked, the most beautiful thing about a friendship is that you're the same person that you were when I met you, That's that it. you are today. You're that same person. Now, and hopefully you, you have grown. Yeah, you've grown. But, but your character still But your core be. character is the right. same. Whatever right, your right. core character is, you're still that person. Absolutely. With issues. That's that's yeah, cause all, we all got issues. Hello, hello. <laughs> that's the truth. And if we friends, that means that we probably bonded on our issues. <laughs> but anyway, so over at Tisha and Marcel's house, right? So they're having the conversation, but from Tisha's point of view. Yeah, this went a whole different way than I thought it was gonna go. And <laughs> Tisha 
I'm, I'm not fast. <laughs> yeah. Tisha is so complicated for me, y'all. Oh, she's so complicated. Because she admits in this episode that I'm kind of glad yeah. that you did my kickback when my mom was out of town. town. Because we were <laughs> able to get through it without her drama. Yeah. But wait one freaking minute. And she said, no Wanda, no drama. I'm like, oh, really? I thought she was going to be pissed off. Because every time that Marcel would tell her that you need to tell your mama to stop disrespecting me the way she do, she never do it. So for her to be excited that her mama wanted her graduation, I mean, it's ain't like this was just a, a birthday party. This was a major accomplishment, accomplishment in her life. And she was okay. And her mama wasn't there. And she was happy about it. But here's my thing. This is where I'm so like, Tisha, do you see and hear yourself? My. You are mad at everybody that calls your mama to the carpet because of her drama and her bullshit. That real talk. I like me some water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. But me and Wanda could never be in the same room because there will be some table shook <laughs> and, some to and some chairs they're going to be somewhere. But why is it you can say it and you can see it for what it is, but when everybody else around you said that, then you have this major oh, you problem. Are, you already know what that is. I in, know what it is, but I'm like, black, do you see it though? See, in the black family, you can talk bull skit about your family, but nobody on the outside, you better not say skit. I know they ain't skit, but you better not say nothing or we going to the company and fight. That's what it is. But that is the inside though. This is not the outside. This is these are your in-laws and your husband, and they all are calling your mama to the carpet. You the only one that can call your mama to the carpet, though. I got you. Stop That's bringing right. your mama to <laughs> events, then. Stop. Cause you know she gonna show out. Every time. She gonna. Show I'm gonna out. tell you, I love my uncle to death. My uncle is deceased now, but I would tell my family, don't bring my uncle to any event that I have, because my uncle is gonna get drunk. And he is going to act and mmm. And I don't want have I don't want <laughs> You don't want to go to jail. Yeah, and I don't want the backlash of me having to <clears throat> call the cops on my uncle or having my other male cousins deal with my uncle because he's not gonna let him get too far out of pocket right. with everybody in the family. So I would just tell him, don't bring my uncle. Did it hurt me to have to say that? Yes, but I know in which I am dealing with. Yeah. Tisha, you know what you're dealing with. When it comes to something where you want everybody to walk away in the same piece that they came in, don't invite your mama. And, and, and here's the thing. On this show, I, I know it's a show and everything. I You know, their timing with stuff is just like so off. Well, that's the, that's the producers. Yeah. So, yeah. But I have a feeling that's their life too, though. I like, think that's how they We bring involved. up drama at important events. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna, well, we're gonna to resolve this at... And we've we've known that to happen in, in, in real outside? life where you choose to bring that up. Damn. Like at the baby shop? Yeah. Like <laughs> really? We 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 haven't talked in months. And you decided to bring it up here? Yeah. But we can do it. We can do it right now. Now I know some people justify and be like, I've been trying to call you, I've been no trying day. to text you and all that stuff. I got, could, and that could be I got Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But <laughs> that could be the case. But we are at what your I'm mama's on. birthday party and you trying to start drowning. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but any hoodles. So Marceau had to let Tisha know, listen, you may have think that all the drama was left behind because your mama wasn't there. But I had <laughs> Pee Wee, Uncle Lou, Jin Jin, Kiki, Homeboy around the corner that sell um the, the pop. <laughs> I, all of them tried to check me. Yeah, check Marso day. About <laughs> this outside baby that they keep saying that they hearing about on social media so then this is where Marso is my dude I love me some Marso I know y'all be like look at you love me I understand Marso yeah. I really do Marso did you really come out your mouth and tell Tisha if you had an outside baby I would forgive you yeah when you said that bro I was like you said that just a little bit too unbothered <laughs> You had off As if I'm planting a seed for the future. <laughs> because if something is to come up. That I had a baby. You my, know. My comeback is. I will forgive you. I will forgive you. Hold on that boss. What the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah. I will. Okay, I hey, go, look. I ain't going to jump on your knees. Hey, look. 
I know with the show, they probably cut out what you said after that. So if there was some additional <laughs> details, go hit us up. <laughs> and that, let us know, like, what you really mean by that. Because I, I don't know not give, one give, man. Giving your wife a hall pass to bring a baby home and you will forgive her. Yeah, I ain't talking about a whole just, I just slept with some. I'm talking about a whole yeah. 18 years in your face. Right. And then beyond, because they don't go nowhere. And if they born before yeah. 19, <laughs> before 1999, no, after 1999, them motherfuckers you, don't go nowhere. And you said nowhere. it with confidence, too. Oh, I will forgive oh, you. Yeah, I'll forgive you if you had a baby. Says what man when. Hmm. So what you trying to set up? All right, we're going we to leave you alone. We're going to leave it alone. Yeah, like I said, hit us up. More details on that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but Tisha let our um, so know, listen, if that were to ever happen in our marriage, and if I ever found out something like that on social media, Oh, I would take you for everything you are worth. He said that you got You already everything. got everything. You got she everything she right. said you won't have nothing. You won't have you be walking right here like Martel. <laughs> That's not funny. Speaking of Martel and Mel, this was the most scripted scene I have ever seen in my freaking life. So Martel comes over to Melody's house because it's his weekend or week or whatever, however they have it worked out, of getting the kids. So he's knocking on the door and Mel comes down, dressed to the gods. And I instantly noticed, I said, wait, wait, one got a minute, but you're not gonna do Carlos. Don't play in our face, <laughs> as my boy James would say. Did, did both of them have on godly purple? Uh-huh. The same shade, the Kojic purple, yep. like prayer cloth purple, mm -hmm. like the purple that you just you just don't match that up by mistake, purple. Yeah, because sometimes you got to order that shit. Like, sometimes you got to go with a swatch <laughs> to the store to mm -hmm. make sure that... Mm, they all match. That they all match up. I ain't trying to put that because I got my address on. But, um, <laughs> yeah, y'all want us to believe that that wasn't a scripted scene. But anyway, they ended up having um this conversation about what the hell was they even talking about? They was talking about the uh, post when um Martel yes. posted a picture of their kid and he mentioned the fifth child. Yes. That was the issue. Now everybody <laughs> seems to be split about how they felt about it. Like I've said, I don't have I'm, a problem with I'm him split. acknowledging. I'm, I'm split by the two. I'm but, not. But it's it's split because you know he had a motive with right. it. Right. He had a motive to 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 hurt her. Right. Yeah. It wasn't that I'm just posting because I, I want to be a dad and I want to let the world know. I'm going to take care of my own. No, it was this a time to, to yeah. get a, a shot at Mel. Yeah, so correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't follow Martel, but of course your ears to the street, you would hear. I've never seen or heard of him posting of the baby ever. Like that is the only post where you actually hear of him acknowledging that there is a fifth child. Like when the baby was born, we didn't get a foot. Cause you know everybody like to have a foot on their Instagram or this right here. Hey, but look, we did we did miss last season because yeah. So if we missing any details, y'all let us just go and let us know that he has posted or didn't say anything. Let us know. But yeah, that was my thing. Yeah, I want you to post and let everybody know that yeah, this was a bad situation. But I still take full responsibility and claim this child that this child is mine. Yeah. But he did uh, it as a dig to Melody. Let's but just yeah, I think it was a, yeah, And it was that's a, what the yeah. problem is. Yeah. The problem isn't, like you said, the problem isn't about the child. It's which he's very crafty, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very crafty. But they ended up speaking about the fact that in order for them to co-parent effectively, they believe that it's time to them, for them to go to therapy together and, counsel, and get counsel of how to move forward yeah. in co-parenting in different households. And I <laughs> thought that was great. And he actually agreed mm -hmm. to it. <laughs> as long as the therapist is not biased to either one of us. <laughs> See, he I got, me. I got what he said because that's like... I'm thinking back to like old school marital, marital counseling. Most of the time when men went to counseling, the counselor mm -hmm. would beat up on the men. You need to do this, 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 and it would be a lot more easier on the women. But I think in today's counseling is a lot more balanced. And what I saw 
What? I'm about to piss all the church folk off. Go ahead. That's because all counseling back in those days was done by the pastor. And right. most of the <laughs> yeah. pastors. I were wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say that, but yeah. All pa Most of the pastors was biased towards the woman because the woman was the one who went to church. The husband was the one who sent his little $20 tithe. Yeah, well, he the, won't send it that. <laughs> she, 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 she put his name on it because trust me, I already know how it went back in the day. So when the wife went to the pastor to say about all her problems, he already had a bias. So if the husband decided to come on in, it already See, I wasn't even gonna, I wasn't even going to go there. I just was going to keep it neutral. I won't. Now you're going to hear pissing people off about yes. their past. But I still love y'all. <laughs> See, I'm that friend. I am that friend that's going to give it to you whether you were here or not. So, but I'm not going to change. Y'all still like me? And then the role of a counselor, they give you advice based upon what you tell them. Mm -hmm. So if 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 y'all just talking about just your issues, the counselors are going to just talk about your issues. But a, a good counselor won't say nothing <clears throat> until they hear about the other side. Right. That's the next piece. Yeah. That is the that's the most important piece. Got to listen. So Martel and he said Francis was biased. That's where I was going. I was like, Francis, I was like, man, I said, this dude is an excellent counselor. He challenged, he challenged him in some major ways. And I was like, yes, this dude is, is everything. When she said he's been married for 40 years, but he was biased because he ain't never went through nothing because he ain't connect with you because he went through something. That's the reason why he was able to give you the information he gave you because he went through something. Because trust. 40 years of marriage, oh, they went through some issues. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But just because he didn't tell you about them doesn't mean that. And just because he didn't get a divorce yeah. or going through a divorce didn't mean, doesn't mean that he can't counsel. So you mean to tell me you think that every counselor has to have lived a certain Your situation in order to, to help. help you? No. Nah. Man, that's the most BS thing I've ever heard in my life. Now, does it help? It does. Yes, it does help. But most of the time, in principle, some situations... Your situation may be different than mine's, but the same principle would apply to your situation as with mine. Case in point, with him <laughs> stepping out on mail, whether he cheated with his wife or not, he understands that there are some consequences that come with cheating on a spouse. Absolutely. So that's the information that he would, would give you. But Mel brought it up. I love how Mel just kind of just was like, she hit him upside the head without even putting her hands on him. She was like, oh, like such and such? <laughs> like these two? And she was like, did, did that help? Did that help? And he was like, it, it did. She said, oh, oh, oh. did it? <laughs> but I heard them. I heard them. So pretty much, Dr. Francis, that scared the hell out of me. Um, Dr. Francis was not the problem. Yeah. You are the problem. <clears throat> and we already know. So the scene took this crazy turn for me because we ended up outside where Martel started talking real fast. Like I turned on and it was a little bit of they started knocking on the door, and then Val, Van came down, and I was like, oh, are what? we in a different house? No, we're not. It's still the same. Yeah, I was like. So then she had words for Martel, and real talk, I wish she would have heard the advice of the counselor that they went to about co-parenting, because I feel Van, and she's valid in her right of being pissed off with this dude. Bad timing. But... Bad. Sometimes you just gotta, you, gotta, be, you just gotta be you present. Got, you got, yeah, you gotta be quiet right there because I'm like the kids are right there. They right there, and you know how they absorb he absorb everything. Yeah, and you know how Montel is. If he gets offended, he is not going back down. As if he was doing, he still was talking stuff while the kids. He hugged the kids I'm like your, your grandma mom. is disrespecting me. And your grandma put her hands in my face, kids. So and I'm like, <laughs> y'all just created something with Van. All you had to do was just. But we know, we know this is a show. We got to remember this is a show. It is, and, and drama will go. So, <sighs> we got that. So, we see a scene where Mel is meeting with her friend, Tiffany. I hope I didn't miss anything out. Thank you, got it. Oh, yeah. no, we didn't. We got to talk about um, Kimmy, Kiowa, oh, that Maurice, Monster. Oh, yeah, the car. So, yeah. Monster wants to make money, but he don't want to really work hard. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that, y'all? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Real talk. Um, I mean, I ain't got no problem with that's it. That's what I said. I don't have a problem knowing with that. Knowing what I know now. Right. That hard work doesn't always eat. 
Yeah. Big money. Yeah. Sometimes it's the most stupid stuff that you make a lot of money off of. Right. Trust me, I know. Mm -hmm. Um. So they're really trying to get to him. Like, what is it that you want to do? So he's finally decided on which high school he wants to go to and whatnot. So Maurice is excited that hey, dude finally made a decision what what he want to do. Let's call your mom on Facetime. We can have a conversation mm -hmm. on about it. So they're talking about it and whatnot, and I see Kimmy off to the side. Like, he has the phone position where it's like... like she <laughs> so Kimmy in the confessional was like, I really <clears throat> kind of feel some kind of way because when they are speaking, they kind of have like this triangle among themselves. But I'm like the bonus mom. When do I get some <laughs> she info? She's lying. like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how uh, Kimmy felt. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Kimmy felt. Like, ow. My baby. Yeah. So she was like, sometimes I just have to interject and be like, hey, Kaya, well, so what's been going on is we're planning on having a party with all the cousins together for them going for the grad um for them going to high school, all that good stuff. And Kaya will brings up, you know what? The last time we spoke, it won't too good. It won't too good at all. I think we need to come together and really have a conversation on common ground. I was like, what is about Kyle? What this mm -hmm. about? But I think it's gonna be good. Like Monster been there all this time. I think whatever dust they had them probably it, it may not be I, settled, but it ain't stirred up right now. I know we not at that counselor piece yet, but you kinda of threw some stuff. I think they need to talk to them too. Well you tell Kyle what that cause I'm not doing it. Hey. <laughs> Cause that, that girl gave some really good advice. She did. She I was impressed some, with that, her. That was solid. Yeah. yeah that was solid. So Mel, <coughs> Mel gets a visit from Tiffany. I don't trust Tiffany. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. And this is before I even seen the next scene. Well, the next preview of next oh, episode. I, oh, I forgot this. They didn't show this this episode. But uh, what oh, y'all well. feel about Monster vaping in the bathroom? They ain't show it. They just kind of mentioned it. It's 2021. No excuse. But vaping is the new cigarette. Vaping is the new joint, <laughs> you know. I'm just gonna say I don't know how is I don't know how my how Maurice and them was gonna react to it when they right. respond to it, but I've always had to think of parents overreacting when they find out their kids is doing the extracurricular stuff that even you you might not vape. That's what I say, yeah. But yeah, but you smoke cigarettes. You've you done smoke, something. Yeah, you smoke weed, snow the coat, whatever. No, whatever. no, no, no. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I mean, back in the day, I mean, that yeah. ain't sad. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop right there. That uh, yeah, that's why I said back in the day. I ain't say us. I said back in the day. Coat on us. What black people? They had to make a certain amount of money for that. <laughs> now that crap. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, to. Be blown out the water about that stuff and making the child feel like that this is just something brand new and this is going to instantly destroy your life and you need to stop it now. What you do, because you know, mm -hmm. but coming off at them as if you You've never, never did that. it is so wrong. It I is. Coming from them like, hey, I know what this is about. I don't know about vaping because I ain't never vape, but I do know what it is to get some Newport 100s and smoke them all week. <laughs> I know about that. that, but this is the result. Of making that choice now. And How we get here? I don't know. We talk about something that ain't even here. Yeah, but we're gonna talk about it again when it do get here. Yeah, my bad. I well, let's been, talk about. I didn't mean to go into that rabbit hole, but no, no, it, no, it, it no, need to be no, said. Okay. Let's talk about it's this, Sunday. This I was gonna call her Snake. I don't. I'm not gonna do that. But this this girl Tiffany that I don't trust. So. I didn't even, I, it could be editing, but I didn't even like how she came off at Mel. Y'all know Mel is not my favorite person. But Mel calls her over and they sit down and immediately, how's your mental space? Hello, how are you? Dog doing okay? Cat doing okay? You need your car wash? And it, how's your mental state? I like the question, but it was like, as soon as you get here, that's what you hit me with? All right, see why I called you here, baby. Well, Mel wants her guidance on a few business things. Like she's interested in getting interns in because she has her hand in so, so many man. things mm -hmm. that she needs help in those areas. But she wants interns that's going to be only, you know, only focused on this, that, this, <clears throat> right. and um, and whatnot. And also, they wanted to do some girl talk. And Tiffany was divorced previously, so she recently got married again. So she's able to relate and be able to Help speak to Mel mm -hmm. on a thing of, okay, I've been there. 
I know the steps and the, the different steps in which your healing is going to come in those days where everything was bad and dark. And she even told her, she was like, there were some days where it was bad. Mm -hmm. Like it was a period where it was bad. And then now I could not think of a better way <clears throat> of my life going because of where it is now. So you'll get there. And Mel let her know too. Like she said it last week. I'm falling. I'm just in love with loving me right now. Right. Not even trying to be there. But you know, naturally some days are hard and whatnot. So Mel ended up saying, you know what? You know destiny, right? She has this little shindig going up. I think it was for a birthday or something like that. Yeah. Why don't you come? Why is you invite people? <laughs> Why you invite people to other people's stuff? <laughs> that's the that's, show. That's, that's what black people do, man. I'm telling you. Like, it might, in her defense, it might be her plus one. It could be her plus one. Right. But at the same time, you know how women get down. <clears throat> you better let me know who you bring into my skit. Because cause all women don't get along. Mm -mm. No, all friends don't need to be blended. We've been there before too. Like I can have friends over here, but if y'all bring them with these friends over here, they just don't get along. They don't like each other. I don't know what it is. Women are difficult. Like um, like um, Marceau said, some women are very difficult. I don't understand the friendship. Oh, women's friendships are stressful. They are for no reason. I like no man. reason. That's why my circle is like this. Uh, yeah, and no new friends. I'm sorry. I'll be trying to understand it, but I don't. Mm -mm. I don't now, understand it either. Now, fellas can have an issue, and don't care. But we just you and know, just move we'll on move, past, we'll it. past it now. Yeah, y'all. Don't say y'all. Well, just I just <laughs> some say some women. women. Yeah, that the issue will go on for years for no reason. Yeah, At that's all. a lot of wasted energy, man. A lot. I'm a Leo. I don't have time. <laughs> yeah. It's our season, y'all. So a lot of us ain't tired because we working. We, we <laughs> tired. We tired because we yeah, cause we managing these stressful relationships, man. Hello, not yeah. me. <laughs> not me. Because when I make up my mind, it's done. It's done. Yeah. It's like the Bible. It is finished. Yeah. So uh, Martel, Martel goes to see Chris because Chris evidently invited him over to the house, and I said, "This is where we gonna see Martel show out." Oh yeah, I know it's coming. Yeah, I know it's coming. So we see Chris and Chris has some books and Martel was like, oh, I noticed those books. Those are builder permit. Yeah. So you, you trying to go out for your builder's license? And he was and Chris was like, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do that. They're going thing. So then Martel admits, yeah, man, I failed that thing like seven years ago. That is hard. Like I've tried and tried seven years ago. I failed that thing. So I'm like, oh, that's about to come into play real soon. Right. So Chris, <laughs> Chris tells him about the proposal that he made to Mel on behalf of the people that he's working with, with the 47 acres and a mule. And Martel lost his skin. Yep. And I feel so many different ways about this yeah. because one, I always say business, yeah, friendship, friendship and family do don't not mix. mix. I never have, have. I've never saw it work. Never, ever. If you have, maybe you can let me know, but yeah. I, I've never seen it work. Nope. Because the lines are always blurred. Yeah. Because, like Chris was saying, this wasn't personal at all, Martel. My person knew that Mel was the one with the builder's license. So that's who he so asked for. That's who, that's who he they asked, asked for. for. Yeah. And on behalf of him, I went and I asked Mel. Right. Now, he yeah. is, Martel is over here saying, listen, but I'm the one who brought you the land because. I am a person that I look out for my friends. So if I'm lining your pockets by giving you the land to sell, why is it that now that the houses need to be built on the land, you don't interject and say Martel could help build some of these houses too. But Chris was like, you don't have a license. But Martel is saying, you I, I don't, have connections to I, get it done. Yeah. I said, so you attempt? So you, you got connections with somebody that has a builder's license so that you could be underneath of them and build these houses. And like Chris was saying, this not personal. Yeah, they didn't I, ask for you. They didn't ask for you. They asked for Mel. But he was like, you should have brought my name to the room. I see it both ways. I see it both, yeah. It's, but at the same time, it, it don't mix, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because you're never going to win with that. Now, in, in, in Martel's defense, I believe Chris could have brought it up and be like, listen, I know that this is a business decision and we're doing, and you're going to ask Mel. 
because Mel is the one with the business license, I mean, with the builder's um, license. But my friend Martel has also been building houses. He may not have his license, but he definitely gets the job done. And he's in connection with those people that can link up and do it all as well. And he could have. And he didn't but, say he did. But you can't, but you know, editing. <laughs> You yeah, gotta, you got to keep it drama, you know, within the editing. So, so he could have did that, and the developer could have said, "No, why, why, why go to Martel when he go to somebody else that has and a business? I can just go straight, can go straight to him. I, I don't got to deal with multiple people. I can just deal with Mel." Yeah. So he told <clears throat> Chris, "I'm disappointed to you in you. How dare you do something like that? You know my situation. I'm trying to get back on my feet." He started talking like, "I can turn it. You gonna do me like all the mother hoes did? Like you?" Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I went down to San Antonio. I went down there to Houston. I went down there, <laughs> and this is what you gonna do? You gonna <laughs> find yourself. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I was like, Martel. I said but, that manic was get ready to but kick in. He, here's I think where the, where the issue is at because that lands that's 47 acres. That's a lot of houses that need to be built. But it's karma because he stole it like uh, uh, alleged. Yeah, but from um Masa. So one builder is not gonna be able to do that project. So this developer done put money up. They need to get houses on the ASAP because they need right. to recoup money back from their investment. Right. So they're going to take the path of least resistance. resistance. So, first. so I think the issue here is not the fact that Chris didn't ask him about building houses. I think the fact is that he asked Mel first and not him. Because I think probably eventually developers may eventually get to him. Oh, yeah. But because it didn't come to him first. Because you know, Marcel got the thing is that man thing. I, you know, I'm the man. You went to my ex wife. You should have came to me first. You know, that. But we really seeing. Never mind. But that's just my opinion. I could yeah. be wrong. That just, that just, that just my opinion. It is what it is. Because I do know the pride of a man. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like for example, if if somebody was to come here and ask you to do something and didn't include me. I probably would. They do it all the time. I would probably feel some type of way. Something if something major. <laughs> I was really trying to pick at you. <laughs> um, but I, but I, don't I don't know. It's yeah. It's 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 gonna be a lose lose with this. Yeah, it's it hard. It like and, and that's why I hate giving my opinion on stuff when I don't have all the, the facts. So that's why I said that's, but that's my. That's the beauty of being yeah, a re reviewer. Real, yeah, you're just giving your opinions on what you think happened. Yeah, and ain't saying what you in ha what did happen. But nobody knows I'm just, the I'm just, story. I'm just taking the cause that was dealt and just trying to distribute and trying to figure out what the hell's going on with this hand. Yeah. <laughs> but what I really heard was Martel's cry for his new stability. Yeah, because like, right I don't now, have nobody got my back. I don't have nobody got my back. I'm trying to rebuild. I'm trying to do this. And things ain't been how they were. Yeah, because so. they say, you know my situation. And I'm like... <sighs> you know, I, and then he did that thing, you know, that we do. And, you know, I help fat in your pocket, so you need to help fat in my pocket. I get it all. And I, I trust. I, I, get I, I, I get it. I get it all. So. Yep. I have been in that position, too. Mm -hmm. So now we are counseling, right? After we go through all this, we all might need it. <laughs> but we're at counseling, and Miss Price is the counselor of the hour. And I really did like her, like my husband said. Yeah. Um, and I still don't like what he had to say about my Dr. Francis because Dr. Francis called both of them to the carpet. Yeah, she and told, it. And he told them what needed to be told. Yeah. Like they say, he knew the assignment mm -hmm. <laughs> and he fulfilled the assignment. And now you mad. Like Ply say, you mad. You man, <laughs> I love your supplies. But anyway, so they're in therapy, right? And the first thing that the counselor was like, um, do you think that your children would benefit from counseling as well? Martel immediately was like, no, I oh, think the wow. kids are doing very well. They, they don't seem to be bothered by anything that's going on. And Mel's face was like, <laughs> mm -hmm, that's what you think. <laughs> that was you must don't have the same children that I have, but let me go ahead and tell you what's but going on. But you said on. she got them, got to have them more. Yeah, most of the time. Okay. Um, I don't know what the split <clears throat> is, but I, you know. And she said individually, each of them are displaying different things that they are dealing with, like writing songs about heartbreak and yeah, the five withdrawing and uh -huh. different things like that, and was like. 
they are displaying some some type of trauma that we need to get to and you could tell that that broke martel's spirit like to know that at the end of the day what you have done has trickled down to your prize mm -hmm. heart piece that's one thing he loved them kids man and it don't trickle down and yeah. hurt your children yeah and you could tell that that was a moment where he was like dang like but, seriously <laughs> but she but she this this i guess it's been have a question that, I, that we've talked about a whole lot because different circumstances that we know about is that mm -hmm. he understood the price that happens to a child when decisions are made by people or well, especially your family your mother and father because he's, he's a product of it and so now being on the other side that you're grown and then you turn around and make a decision that affects your children it's like it's how so how do we not connect those those dots I think we connect the dots. I think we have a problem with slicing the dot off. <laughs> like we connect the dots all day long. Like we can look down through our generations and can see where we have been connected to the dots. When are we gonna actually, remember those little pegs we used to have like at kindergarten where you take, when you have the um the circle with the little stem on and you keep clicking them into uh -huh. each other. Yeah. When are we just gonna disconnect? Mm. And that's where counsel and like, like she has said, she said some most of the time black people don't go to counseling until counseling is too late. Right. And guys, and I hope they get there. And I'm pretty sure their children are in some kind of counseling because if not, we're gonna keep on taking those circles and pegging them back together, pegging right. them back together. Now I don't know if this is true, but this is just pull. I'm not sure if y'all into like the law of attraction. That one of the laws is that whatever you focus on expands. That's so, true. So most of the time you hear people were like, I don't want to be like my daddy or I don't want to be like my mama. And that's what they focus on all their life of trying to be not like them to only end up being like them. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's true, but from <laughs> oh, the law of attraction, true. it appears that because that was your focus, not being like them, mm -hmm. you became like them. So versus you just focusing on being the best version of yourself, and not thinking about trying to be better than them or not trying to be like them. Yeah. Your focus would have been just on you just bettering yourself and you maybe you wouldn't have became like them. So maybe. But in this session we saw Martel go through an array of emotions, like he went from sad, even mm -hmm. Mel tried to console him and he was like, Stop doing Stop that, doing don't that. do yeah. that. Because he didn't want to cry. He didn't want to cry. <laughs> and she started crying and she even said she was like, We're not together. But we've been together for so long that when I see him hurt, I am human <clears throat> enough to admit that I'm going to hurt when I see him hurt. But she also said something to him that you have five children now. You can't check out. You can't afford to lay down. You can't afford to lay down and let life just happen. Mm -hmm. You got to figure this thing out. Right. And then immediately he got upset because he was like, why are you bringing up the fifth? We in here talking about the fourth. But what you have to understand is there is you gotta five. Show up, you got to show up for the five every you, single day. Yeah. And what Mel is <clears> saying <throat> is as well as you're trying to focus on the four, there's this fifth one too. And you have to, you, you're going to have to come to the terms that we in this big umbrella of the gum. And we're going to have to figure this thing out. And then it got to a point where they had admitted that the children don't, doesn't know about this fifth child yet, which mm -hmm. means that they haven't met this baby. So, it, well, at least when this aired, they had. And the counselor had to let them know that, listen, after I divorced my husband, we found out that he had yeah, a child. child. Yep. And the best thing that we could do as parents is I had to let my son know that I approve of the meeting of this child, mm -hmm. but I said nothing. Right. Because the conversation needed to be between his dad, him, and this situation. Right. I was there, but I shut my mouth because my presence let my son know that I'm in agreement. Mm -hmm. So take that for what it's worth. And they both agreed that was solid solid um mm -hmm. advice that was solid and I was like, I wish Van had have heard that advice at the house. Although I'm a I'm team Van. <laughs> like I'ma say what I gotta say to you, but at the same time when the children are present nah that yeah 
Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Mm. Yeah, you can't, you can't strike up no drama at, at that no, point in front of the kids. No, because they are sponges, yo. Yeah, and I like <laughs> what she said that the ki the children deserve to know that the family dynamic changed. And I can just remember just like growing up and seeing family dynamics change, and it wasn't like my family. Oh, it's a difference. I man. mean, but just seeing like, you know, families like. The hell um, happened? What the hell happened? Like, this was your mama and daddy yesterday. <laughs> and now today your daddy is with somebody different or your mama's with somebody different. But they all go to the and same church. And as a child, you like, what the hell is going on here? And you go older and you're still trying to figure out what, like, what the hell is <laughs> Like, what was they doing? <laughs> what kind of... So, yeah. So, <sighs> the, it was good to see that he's starting to really see... He's already seen it, but and the baby now they're seeing that, that his kids are being affected by this in a major way. That maybe this will be his, be his change. It could be. So they walked away from therapy and, um, well, counseling. Same thing to me. Um, and they seem to have both been in a really good headspace about it. And they were in their confessionals together. Oh, and I, I was like, oh, I forgot y'all look real chummy together. Oh, I forgot to mention what she was saying. And that makes y'all be a good team. Yeah, and that was. And she and said, "I like how the team shows up." I got the team shows up. Yeah, almost forgot that. Yeah, that was good. That yeah, was, good that was really good. Was hey, like, we're a team, right? Some days. <laughs> Listen, before this camera comes on, sometimes it is. It's not even bef what happens before the camera. When we sit in this seat, and this dude has to get the ca the lights right mm -hmm. and the mics on, he turns into a complete a hole. He turns into the hey look. He turns into Rain Man. Hey oh, look. Da, 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 I got hey, to I got to. Hey, got this and got this and then sit your way down. Hey, y'all are family. Y'all been around for a while. I'm gonna make sure we show up right. I'm gonna make sure y'all can see us good and hear us good. He right? do too much. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. He be doing too much. I think I need to be doing a little bit more. We should put the blooper in here a while ago. Like he's in here picking and pulling up my shirt. I'm so ooh, I see the leopard print. Sit your way down and record. <laughs> I mean, you showing me the draw, so I'm gonna take a look. Get get. But anyway, um, <laughs> right, <laughs> right after they left out of their out of counseling, right, then they switch right on over to back at the land and about the opportunity that Mel was getting. Mel was <laughs> like, I was the one who told Chris to present it to you to let you know that okay, ain't no funny business going on. And he was like, Yeah, that that, that was my friend. She said, No, that's both of our friends. Yep. And he was like, No, no, you no, not ain't, like that. And you ain't never built a house. And she said, Well, technically, well, technically you, you ain't, ain't never built a house, house either. either. I ain't see you put down a brick. <laughs> and you ain't did no framing. <laughs> None like, of that. Dang. So he started walking away. I said, Come on, type pass. You can't go too far. Enough. But she was like, and just because of that, I might build a few of them houses and whatnot. <laughs> but I said, all right, I'm with you on that one, Mel. Since he want to be nasty and petty about it, build them houses, child. Yep. But anyway, that was this week's episode. I know we were really long with it, but um, y'all like it for some reason. Yeah. But anyway, we will see y'all a little later on because we still have to do power. power. So straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two, Two down. down. Holla. Holla. Woo.